Jarida itaangazia ususi uchoraji. Mashairi painter chora picha. Kitu kitu naweza sema unajua katika pale the eh, tulipokuwa tuna tunafanywa training na nini tulikuwa tunatayarishwa pia psychologically tuna tulikuwa tunaletea walimu wana wana to train that hii career ambayo unaingia sasa utakuwa katika public domain public eye so sio rahisi so kuna pale amfai kuonekana kuna vitu fai kufanya so tukakuwa tunapikuwa prepared na i thank god pia because of discipline pia ndio nimeweza ku maintain na another thing ni kwamba i always repeat every time and kila siku katika interview nikipata nafasi mimi na ndaga watu wewe siku zote jua nini unataka jitahidi na vyote vitatu mweke Mungu mbele i swear mambo yako itafunguka before at before at at before to ingia the presenter nilianza mambo ya fashion fashion modeling pia kujaribu ma modeling katika hiyo modeling i remember i got a nafasi ya kuinterviewa na Pulse magazine mambo fashion mambo so can you can you listen where where you looking yourself in 5 years to come look angalia mambo ya Mungu tu mimi nikasema i wanna i wanna nataka ku move the fashion industry ya Kenya nipate awards globally yani it's so Kenya peke yake East Africa Africa and look i have all the awards i'm not lying since 2015 i've been getting awards ni 2018 peke yake ndio siku pata award but even the, this 20, 2019 nilipata na hii 2020 2019 nilinominate on but not in a fashion award i won a fashion award but now it was the uh, the talent i have now cuz mostly the awards ambao nimekuwa nikichukua zilikuwa kwa za fashion but uh, from 2019 to 2020 now nimepata nomination ya Freema that last year sikuweza kushinda but i hope this year nitaweza kuchukua hii award ya Freema yo let's go na yemi alade au vipi eh first of all naweza sema ukiwa katika public eye kuna the perception people wako nayo ambao wana expect kuwa labda wanaona ukiwa kwenye TV ni tajiri sana ama unalipwa hela mingi sana kitu kama hiyo so my friends my the fans i get pia kwa streets ukiingia kama kwa hoteli ai jamal lazima unacheka kitu jamal lazima utalipa hii bill jamani atulipu hivyo mnadhani ni kuuza sura tu anyway eh, other challenges ni, ni kitu ambacho naweza sema labda ni hivyo tu watu wana expect wanaona labda wakikuona labda kwenye matatu labda umepanda ndudi they take they take it as a big deal and and mimi kusema ukweli toka hata nimeanza the presenter mpaka nilipofika mimi mpaka leo natumia ndudi niko na gari sije sema sina, sina na gari lakini ikifika mida kama nimeitwa show eh, kuna ma producer wengine kina bila we wana kupigaga masimu Jamal you are late so hapo unachukua gatu ndudi tunakubali alike mm-hmm. toka zamani toka mdogo sana nimekuwa nakutazama yani mm-hmm. essays kuficha yani sikujua kama itafika siku nitakuwa mimi nayo hapa yani shukran tu sana i, th- I thank KTN by the way uh, first of all kwa, kwa hiyo platform ambayo nilipatia the presenter wakani ni public wakanikubali lakini pia KTN wakanipatia nafasi end of the day walitu, walikuwa wanatuletea uh, walimu wanakuja kutufundisha kuhusiana pia na mambo ya social media katika cause katika cause ambayo nilifanya kwenye the presenter that period tuletewa kina extendela people who are good in social media so walikuwa wanatueleza the umuhimu wa social media kwa media ya sasa yani so tusidepend sana na facebook peke yake wakaanza kutu ku insist tutu, pia tutumie twitter instagram na hapo ndo nilipata uzoefu cause tulikuwa kwa tunaambiwa you have to post you have to ask for the fans to vote for you so hapo ndo nilipata interest ya instagram and uh, i think my strength katika social media sana ni instagram na facebook twitter so sana vile lakini eh, kitu nasema about social media ni kwamba ni kitu kizuri sana kinakuuza lakini vitu viwili duniani muogope muogope Mwenyezi Mungu na technology vitu vizuri hivyo vitu viwili Yani i, within a day the career that you've built unaweza iangusha yote kwa makosa madogo tu ambayo ulifanya katika social media so i'm very keen with what i'm doing with what i'm going to post in fact sometimes my, my sisters wanasaidiaga 
before I post wana check for and bego tuangalie anaamba yeah you can post ama naweza post wao hawajui kumbe i thank them be there for the support naweza post tu hivyo kanipigia simu sasa nini umeandika hebu futa eh na futa anyway so unajua mpaka sasa hii life yangu iko managed so sio mchezo and now i have and now after that ni melan even now when i'm managing pia tanasha kuna vitu ambavyo namwambia usiposti hii va hivi post hivi andika hivi so siku unaamka tu unajipostia haiko hivyo thank you ningependa christmas niko focus calendar niko focus calendar yeza oi wao ni soto zuri tupatana siku ya saturday kama kawi zitakuwa na god itakuwa na aj na sau gospel music eh kitu kimoja ambacho una na believe ni kwamba kila mtu ana matatizo kila mtu kuna kitu ambacho anakipitia kila mtu kuna vita ambavyo anavipigana katika maisha yake so kitu ambacho nimejifunza ni kwamba siku zote zile shida zako zote ulizonazo ziweke nyumbani sasa ile unatoka kuwa mchangamfu just smile to everyone and i believe positive positivity in attract positivity so hata kama una shida hata kama una unapitia dhiki nyingi wewe mweke tu Mungu mbele na uhakikishe sio kila mtu unamfungulia unamfungulia roho yako na mweleza mimi napitia haya mimi napitia so ujui nani 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 so wewe tu furai na hivyo vitu unavyopigana unavyopigana sio wewe peke yako unavyopigana sote tuna vita vitu ambavyo tunapigania maga burudani burudani kesi baadaye mko mix safi kwa mix leon de shule mix mbaya ni dj lighter ungana nami cheme darro burudani mfalme wa pamba mtoto wa mama fatma 001 junior wewe kuja sasa what i'll say to you ni kwamba umesikia jani yangu kila safari lazima inaatua kila safari kuna milima mabonde ukitafiri kuna Mombasa lazima utakuna utapitia motito andei pale kidogo mshuke mule kujisaidie so katika maisha pia katika safari ya maisha ukitaka ku make it ujue ni kama ni kama safari tu utapalmana na changamoto nyingi sana na ujue kwamba hizo changamoto ndio vitu vya kukujenga mimi nilipotoka ni mbali mpaka nilipofika hapa na ku maintain hiyo ku maintain hiyo brand si mchezo kwa kama nilivyokuambia kitu kidogo unaweza fanya hivi sitaki kutaja the, there are some big journalists ambao tuko unajua wakubwa zaidi lakini unifanya tu blanda ndogo tu kidogo where are they now so discipline ni tume discipline kwanza kitu kimoja very important na discipline so uh, discipline so uh, ya, ya, ya kuambua uwe na heshima pia time wakati ambapo mimi niko kwa kidogo na wakati kwa kitu kidogo mimi na wakati atusikizani lakini hii kazi kanifanya new strokes. Yup, you already know kama kawa ni feel good Friday catch in life and style. Na mshukuri kwa za Maulana kutuwezesha kukutana mimi nawe nasema ndege ya limi ndege ya vuni lakini anaishi. Uh, Asanteni ku, ku, kuangalia Millennial on the moves. With the super producer. Ngesa ya cameraman. Kwanza kitu kimoja nyinyi ya mjui. Si mnaona kama tunakuja tu kwenye kwenye kamera hapa tunakaa vizuri tunafanya eh kuna vitu vingi ambavyo vinafanyika huko nyuma. Kuna cameraman anahakikisha amekuja anaangalia set kama lighting ko vipi sound. So I salute these guys. I salute the producers kama so wao pia atusinge kwa nafanya nafanya kazi nzuri. So kitu kimoja cha mwisho nakwambia. Usidharau mtu yeyote. Ishi na kila mtu kama venye unavyopenda mtu aishi na wewe. Usidharau mtu yeyote. Hivyo nakwambia na ukue na discipline katika maisha yako. Be positive in life. Na you surround yourself with people ambao waswahili wanasema ukitembea na na muuza samaki utanuka samaki. Ukitembea na muuza marashi utanuka marashi. So hakikisha watu walio ku surround pia ni watu ambao wata make impact yako. Wata make impact katika maisha yako. So unaingia kwenye kikao ama umekaa na watu wanaongelea watu fulani. Kila saa ukikaa nao tu wanaongelea. Ule umesikia amefanya hivi. We, nenda ukakae na watu ambao unasikia unazungumzia business. Yaani surround yourself with people ambao wako business minded, watu ambao hawatakuhusisha uingie katika labda miadarati, watu ambao unajua marafiki wa sasa. Ukimwambia 
akunulia pombe atakunulia pombe lakini kama mbona nasikia njaa kunulia nyama ugali haiwezi kunulia so surround yourself with people ambao uko na positive minds uko na Jamal Gaddafi mfalme wa pamba mtoto wa Fatma Jamal Burdan 001 junior wewe kuja sasa um, you've seen you've seen many of many of, uh, many of my friends ambao mimi napenda kukaa kwanza na wazee sana na most of the time si vijana nakaa nao kidogo tu ila wazee na nakaa nao sana maana yake nililearn ni kwamba ukikaa na watu ambao wamekuzidi umri kidogo you learn a lot Una, unajifunza vitu vingi sana and those friends of mine wana ni all they are politicians so kuna kind of way they've inspired me i want to be a politician but no now i didn't say now 2022 no uh, 2027 no maybe 2030 mungu akituweka akituweke na uhai na uzima maybe those in future but kwa sasa i'm still a presenter i'm still a manager and i'm still a comedian on tiktok